Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just spend a few minutes this Friday morning talking about the items that I have been using uh, on holiday. I'm um, on holiday in the UK in Cornwall at the moment. The weather isn't so great, not that much sun, quite warm and wet, so I haven't needed the sun products that I expected I might need. Um, one of them was this item from Chantecaille, which is not a brand I generally purchase from a lot. I have had um, their products over the years, particularly the eyeshadows, but not regularly. This is the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Protection SPF 45 Anti-Glycation Primer. And I bought this because it was um, recommended in a YouTube video that was actually by an actress whose name um, in a typical senior moment I've now forgotten, an, a British actress who's um, needless to say very beautiful and doesn't really need any beauty products. Uh, if I remember who she is or look her up I will um, put her name in the uh, info below not because it's particularly important, but because it's annoying for people to talk about things and not say who they mean. Anyway, I saw this product, which was um, this video, which was one of those videos, I think for Vogue, which I really like, where they go through the contents of their makeup um, bag. And she raved about this product as um, something that was good for your skin because it was a high SPF, but also um, made you look a bit more glowy if you didn't really want to wear any makeup. Now, I have to say, I've been pretty disappointed with it, especially given the price point, because it was pretty expensive um, as an SPF. I generally wear the Shiseido um, Day Cream, which they have now stopped producing in its current form, but I'm stocked with backups. And that has an SPF of 35, but it's a nice kind of feels nourishing um, day cream. This is nothing like that. Although it says that it is oil free, um, paraben free, you have to shake it uh, well before use. And it says it can be worn alone over moisturizer as a daily sunscreen or under foundation as a protective smoothing primer. When it comes out of the tube, I will just give it a shake and you can hear uh, as you shake it, that it's really, really liquid in the tube, which kind of took me aback somewhat. And here's the texture. Um, it's really kind of like a strange watery milk. Um, and it feels really, really oily, despite being oil-free. Um, it, it does blend into the skin. It does have a a fragrance, perfectly nice kind of sunscreeny, um, sun lotion fragrance. Um, and because it's quite sticky, I suspect it is giving good um, SPF protection. Not that I've really needed it on this holiday, but somehow um, it doesn't do anything else. And it feels a bit counterintuitive to put it on over your moisturiser because it's kind of so tacky I feel like it's wiping it off, but it isn't moisturising enough to wear on its own. And it's the same with kind of putting foundation products over. So I'd be really interested if anyone else has used it and what they think of it. Because reading the reviews online when I bought it, not Chantecaille's own on different sites, it's reviewed really, really positively. And um, whilst I don't hate it, I mean, it's fine and I will use it. I don't quite get the rave reviews, really, so I'd be interested to know what others think. Anyway, so that was really the only super new product that I brought with me. Um, as kind of foundations, I brought the Le Beige um, Eau de Teinte, but in the slightly darker colour. I have it in two shades. I have it in the lightest shade, and then this is medium. And uh, I tend to wear this a bit more in the summer, because on me, um, it being, uh, me being so fair, um, it's not a perfect match for my skin. You can see it's definitely darker, but as you smooth it out over the skin, it just gives a kind of light, 
healthy, glowy, slight tan, but, you know, not much of a tan for fair-skinned. Kind of what I was expecting the Chantecaille to do. So, um, sorry, I keep hitting the screen, which will give it the shakes. Um, Le Beige uh, Water Tent. I love it. Um, this is my third, maybe, I've had two bottles of the um, fair one, which I can kind of wear all year. And this one, which I'm going through a bit more slowly. It is a phenomenally good product and I haven't found anything else like it. The other thing that I've had for years and I also bought is my uh, Chanel CC. And this is the old formulation um, at 30 SPF. I haven't actually worn it because I haven't needed to. Um, but it is a product that I like on holiday. Gives quite a lot of coverage, actually. And... Um, a reasonable SPF with coverage. So um, I brought that with me. I haven't actually worn it. So those are my kind of foundation products, which are the most important thing for me. I have got some concealer upstairs for under eye. Um, that's Chanel that I use all, well, quite a lot. Um, I've also got the uh, Atelier Westerman um, foundation stick just to kind of touch up if I go out of any kind of needed to look respectable <laughs> to go out one evening this holiday. So it hasn't had a lot of use. Um, then uh, blush wise, I just brought one product and it's this Shiseido cream blush that I've shown a few times as a favourite. Actually, I've shaken it up now so you can't quite see that I have actually used quite a lot for me, it's such an easy product to use. It's quite light despite being a glass bottle. It's the perfect, um, pretty, pretty rosy shade. It's just so easy to use and easy to control how much you want for a deeper flush or a lighter flush and it lasts really well. I'm not sure whether this particular one is still available on the website, um, but I unhesitatingly recommend the um this uh blush from suko it's um fantastic um i brought with me instead of my usual many powdered highlighters the um chanel gleam stick that i haven't used a lot but um it's a good product you can see there gives a nice natural sheen you can use it kind of anywhere really um so perfect for travel um yeah i recommend it they've still got those on the website i brought loads of lip products um and largely i've been enjoying this gloss which i think is go lightly yeah um i do wish i'd got the full lip color uh it, it's quite interesting going on the dauphin um definitely regulates the amount of product so um, your lip doesn't get too sticky by putting too much on, which is a problem for me with gloss. And I haven't found it to be drying, which I often find with gloss when it wears off. This is just kind of pretty your lips, but a little more corally. Um, it doesn't last very long. Gloss never does. But I've enjoyed it um, on a holiday. I don't know that I'll wear it so much when I get home. I brought a Le Beige palette, which I showed you in my last video, and I haven't worn it once. I think I've worn it once. Most days I've just been using one of these uh, old Chanel um, Stilos over the eye and then um, smoothed out just to give a bit of colour. Great product. Um, good last when you're not wanting to worry about your eye makeup. I did bring my Tom Ford um, Soleil and I did use it when we went out um, to do a very, very gentle smoky but gold eye uh, and I liked it very much. So uh, although it's not a product I'm going to be using a lot, I am still glad that I got it and uh, enjoying it here on holiday. So those have been the makeup pro products really and I feel quite proud of myself of having curated uh, a fairly um, small a bag of makeup. I have got some other items, some lipsticks that I haven't shown you because I haven't used so much. But uh, on the whole, by my standards, uh, when I usually cart endless palettes and uh, foundation choices, 
I've done pretty well. So um, there we go. I'd be very interested to hear if any of you have any views on that Shantakai primer. Um, so until next time, hope you're all keeping safe and well and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.